In this video, we're going to complete example two, which is a type of quadratic model. We're going to calculate the stopping distance of someone traveling in a school zone. Now, stopping distance is a topic that's actually covered in the year 11 standard mathematics course. And this is the formula that we use. The reason we're doing it now during the year 12 standard mathematics course is because when you look at the formula, you will see that we have a variable to the power of 2, which means that this is a type of quadratic model. Now, to help you remember what stopping distance is all about, we'll have a look at our formula, and there's two variables that you need to worry about. V, which is the velocity or speed of the car, and T, which is your reaction time. So when you see a hazard on the road, let's say you see an animal jumping on the road, there's two things you've got to worry about, the speed of your car and the reaction time. The reaction time is basically the time it takes for you to think and put your foot on the brake pedal. So when we read example two, it says the average reaction time for a driver is 0 0.75 seconds. In New South Wales, the speed limit in a school zone is 40 kilometers an hour. So far, this information isn't really relevant to solving the question. So Jared is driving 60 kilometers an hour in a school zone. So he's going over the speed limit. And it wants us to calculate the stopping distance, assuming that he has a reaction time of 0 0.75 seconds, assuming he's got the same reaction time as most drivers. So all we're going to do is take that equation and substitute our values in. So I've rewritten the equation down here. To calculate our stopping distance d, we need to take 5 at the top of our fraction and times it by our velocity and our reaction time. So our velocity or our speed is 60 kilometers an hour and our reaction time is 0 0.75 seconds. That goes at the top of our fraction here and then 18 below it. When we look to the right at our next fraction, we can see that we've got velocity squared. So velocity was 60 kilometers an hour squared, and then at the bottom it's got the number 170. So 170 there. So we'll bring up our calculator. That's all we need to do is just substitute it in and calculate it. So at the top of our fraction, we've got 5 times 60 times 0 0.75 at the top. I'm going to press equals so I can work out what the top should be. That should be 225. And then it's over 18, which is the same as just dividing it by 18. That gives me 12.5. It doesn't hurt to work out each fraction separately. So the first fraction is going to come out to 12.5. Bringing up my calculator, the second fraction is 60 squared over 170 or divide. 170 and this gives me a bit of a nasty decimal so for now I'm just going to write it as about 21.2 21.2 right so these are the two numbers I'm going to add up I always discourage people to round numbers early which is why I kept this 21.2 in its decimal form and I'm going to add this number to 12.5 And I get 33.676. So we'll say 33.7. And we'll write M for meters next to it. So the stopping distance of Jared would be 33.7 meters. Now, that might be good or bad. It just depends. So when he saw something crossing the road, if it's an animal, if that animal was 40 meters down the road, he would be fine, he wouldn't hit the animal. But if the animal was 20 meters down the road, you can see that he, he would have hit the animal. Anyway, that concludes our video on example two. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.